Hey YouTube, it is Dion. I wanted to show you my hair. If it stayed this length permanently, I would love it. This is two weeks. My appointment to get a cut is tomorrow. I go every two weeks. Two and a half, three weeks, I'm just like, nah, 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 nah. Because I'm a simple person and this is so easy and maintenance free. I just love it. I use this brush to brush down the sides and the back. And I use this brush to just kind of puff this up or brush it down, actually. And then, that's looking crazy. <laughs> and then I take this comb and I just fluff up the top. And then, depending on if it grew even or not, you may see like these little corners. And so then I'll just kind of scoop it together, make it look a little even on the sides. But yeah, so this is my cut. And I will show you guys in another video the products that I use, which is real simple. Um, but I don't want this to be long and I'm about to jump in the shower. So I will be back after my fresh cut tomorrow. Also, I don't know if you guys have this issue too, or challenge I should say, my hairline is not even. I don't quite have a peak, but when you look at my hairline, this comes this way and then it goes up. <laughs> And then down again over here. <laughs> and so I have a cousin who's like that. And so I always have to tell her, do not cut my hairline even. Because then when it starts to grow back, the stubble just looks weird. And I'm like, you know what? If this is my hairline, I'm going to just work with it. I do have some family members that have a widow's peak. So I don't know if this is a wannabe widow's peak or what. Um, sometimes it's more noticeable than how it is now. But it doesn't bother me. And all of my grays... My hairstylist, so I should say haircut person, <laughs> she calls them highlights. And I'm like, I don't have highlights. And she's like, oh, I call Grace highlights. I have a bunch. I remember I had thought before that she had um, cut a patch. This is all gray hair right here. Because <laughs> I was looking one day like, did she cut a patch in my head? This is, this is gray hair. It's just like a little family. I'm just like, this is just looking crazy. But you know what it is, what it is. I'm 49 years old, so I am proud to have whatever grades I have. And I would say excuse my forever bags, but like I said, I'm 49. I've earned these bags. I've earned these gray hairs. And I think just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to post, not post, but I'm going to add some pictures from years ago when I used to do YouTube when I had braids and they were like 22 inch long braids. And so to go from braids and then took them out, my hair was like down to here. Then I got it cut into one of these shapes and it was up to here. Then I got it cut again. This side was short, one side was long. And then I'm like, you know what? Just cut it off and let's see what happens. And I wish I would have did it sooner because it is so easy. It could rain, the wind can blow. I don't care if it gets wet. I don't wear a shower cap in the shower anymore. It is just so low maintenance because when it's wet, this is all it's going to look like anyway. <laughs> no flat iron, no blow dry. <laughs> and when I wash it, fluff it dry, it is dry in like 15 minutes. Well, this part is dry in like less than five. This part might take like 15 minutes. But it is so easy. For, so for those of you who are not obsessed with long hair, I say go for it. I wish I would have did it years ago. Um, so I will see you guys. When it's cut. Hey YouTube, it's Dion. I just came back from getting my hair cut. As you can tell, there's nothing on my face today. No makeup. But this is my haircut. This is what she does, 30 minutes, I'm in and out of the chair. I don't have her wash it because when I first started going to her, she would wash it, put conditioner on it, put me under the dryer, rinse the conditioner out, put product on it, styling gel and styling mousse, which I don't like it when my hair feels crunchy and then I'm like, I'm gonna wash it tomorrow anyway. And so now I just go in, she cuts it, I come home, I wash and condition it. What, I, what my hair loves is Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Sulfate Free Shampoo. This is what I wash it with. And I do wash my hair when I'm in the shower. And I use the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Hydrating Conditioner. 
And so I'll shampoo it, put the conditioner on, and then I'll shower and wash my body. And then I rinse the conditioner off every other day. Mm, depending on how often I wash my hair. I use the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk. My hair absolutely, absolutely loves this. And it says styling butter, but this is what it does. So it's, <laughs> it doesn't have to style it. But it does help keep my hair and my scalp moisturized. Um, sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. Because there's times when I wash my hair every other day. And so from using the shampoo and the conditioner, my hair is fairly moisturized. And my scalp is not dry. Um, maybe like the third day without it being washed, I'll put this on. And then maybe I'll go another day before washing it. But those are the three products I use for my hair, easy peasy. When I was trying to figure out what to do with my hair, um, I spent maybe like a year and a half trying different products, trying different styles. My hair is soft and it does not hold curl. So even when I would blow dry it, flat iron it, style it, if I went outside and it was humid, it would end up a puff or it would just end up... <laughs> not looking good and frizzy that's the other thing my hair is, is soft um it would frizz in a minute in a heartbeat the slightest wind and so whatever cute style i had it wouldn't stay so i ended up just wearing it down and i will put in some pictures some look really crazy <laughs> the first place i started going to when i had it cut she she kept the top high and so it never and she didn't know how to fade it like how this is faded down and, and I would always tell her, like, it's not looking right. And so I tried to stick with her because I'm loyal like that. But after a while, I'm like, I need to find somebody else. But this person, I really do like how she she cuts it. And, yeah, in and out in 30 minutes. Um, and it's very inexpensive because I'm only there for a half hour. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. One of the pictures that, that you'll see, and I will put captions in the pictures, is was my natural hair after I had just washed it and it was just poof like that's what my hair would do um I had just finished a swim lesson and I had the goggles on and so it looks like somebody punched me in both of my eyes because it's like really red <laughs> around my face so I hope that that picture did not traumatize anyone for life I remember I sent that picture to my partner for him to see how my hair was before this because he hadn't even seen me in braids. We've only been together a little over a year and it's been like this for over a year. And so I put a whole caption like, I just finished the swim lesson. I had goggles on, so that's why my face is red. Da -da -da. And I sent him the picture and he replied back, baby, who hurt you? And I'm like, didn't he read what I wrote in the text? <laughs> and other people I was showing a picture to, they were like, what happened to your face? And I'm like, can you just look at the hair? Because I wanted <laughs> people to see how my hair was and to understand my struggle in trying to manage that. And so the picture next to it where it's blow dried and flat ironed, that would look cute for like 15 minutes. And as the day would go on, it would just get fluffier and fluffier <laughs> and fluffier. And God forbid, if I did curl it, it would just end up poof and it was just crazy and so yeah i wish i would have did this sooner i would have saved a lot of time a lot of aggravation a lot of money on products and so this is this is my style and you can see here too today my little fake widow's peak thingy you know it is it's not i don't know it seems it's a divot like right here so i guess i can pull it down but then like in person that looks crazy because in person, you can tell it's like pulled down. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to wash it. And that'll be it for my hair for today. So thanks, guys. Have any questions, you know, leave them below. Or any comments, leave them below. Share your hair struggles. Um, if you're rocking a shortcut, you know, let me know how that transition was for you. And at least mm, three or four times a week, regardless of where I go, people are like, oh, sis, your haircut is sharp. But I get that from men and from, and from women. That they're like, oh man, that, that cut is really nice on you. Looks really nice. And so I'm rocking it. This is me. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.